Hi guys, welcome to this video about how to replace the hard drive on this HP 2133 netbook. I mean, yeah, it was not, actually not a netbook, it was a full laptop, but now it is definitely too slow. Maybe you can use it as a netbook or whatsoever. There are many use. I mean, the thing came out about 10 years ago. It was a nice laptop. Yeah, here you have it <laughs> on this side. It was a really nice uh, laptop, not with, with uh, much power, but it was quite okay, especially for traveling was really good with full windows uh, 7 i think and but if you have been using it since then uh, it went definitely too slow uh, no uh, yeah of course uh, no question about that uh, but I, I think i mean a lot of people will throw this into garbage but that's uh, actually um, a waste of money for a lot of people because i think you can really use it for a lot of things like uh, let's play some decent music from streaming providers and attach this uh, laptop to nice uh, external uh, loudspeakers or you can run a script to back up your hard drives I mean like an NAS I have a script on my channel which runs really nice backup every day from an NAS like an NAS to a hard drive which is attached to a netbook and so on and so on so there are a lot of possibilities but what to do if your hard drive in this laptop fails what can you do it's not super easy there are large HP laptops where you have dedicated screws underneath usually on the side there is a hard drive icon you have usually two screws you can uh, yeah unscrew them and pull the hard drive out but not here so first thing what you have to do here is to remove the battery I've already done this we have two locks here with this you can remove the battery and then there are three screws which you have to take out first is here second here the third one here there are tiny screws you need something like this wolverine screwdriver set with these really small um, bits not the large bits but the small bits if you don't have something like this i will put down the link into the description so you can order something like that for about $15 it's always useful or always good to have something like that on hand when it comes to repairs of household things or laptops or something like that so here the three screws uh, have to go of course and then we can open the laptop and then we can remove the keyboard it's pretty easy lift it up in the back and pull it out there are uh, some yeah things here which uh, go underneath this front plate so lift it really here in the back and pull it out but be careful don't pull too much because there is uh, yeah I'm showing this here there is a cable attached to this um, to this keyboard so you have to be really careful about uh, not pulling too hard otherwise you can um, yeah destroy this cable here so now we have access to almost everything at least to the major parts we have access to the RAM here on the side which we can just pull these two things to the side and we have the RAM here which we probably can upgrade easily just push this back then from the top and push it down very easy to remove or replace the hard disk you have to uh, remove the screws here I think there was one here there were not many a uh, couple of them here in the four corners 
uh, amount of the hard disk uh, another one a black one here as well hope you can see that one here so also when you pull out the hard drive be really careful because there's another uh, like a cable here so you have to be really careful to hold this don't push too hard otherwise you will break this cable so you have to immediately pull here but it, it, it's pretty easy to pull this out of the hard disk and then on the back side there are a couple of other screws so uh, so you can take it out of this rack uh, put a new hard drive in and push this I mean of course uh, yeah attach the screws again and push this in this is really super easy you can really push this thing here against this socket here uh, I've already tried this a couple of times works pretty well yeah so you can easily uh, that's not good <laughs> something like that of course it's pretty easy to do that we have even this nice latch here so that's a really really good thing so um yeah it's really well made uh as already told you we have really access to almost everything just by removing the keyboard that's super convenient if we need more access there are four screws on the back which i will show you now so the four screws which i have found uh, on top of that or underneath these rubber feet so they are I mean somehow I think glued or something like that in so you have almost to almost destroy them you have to really push hard on the side with a screwdriver and pull them out and hopefully you can remove them without breaking them I have just managed one to take out one without breaking them yeah here I have another one but this one I have totally destroyed I think that was this one and yeah this one is still here so you have to be really really super careful uh, with that you can easily destroy these feet but underneath that we have also some easy screws which you can remove with something like yeah these screwdrivers but it has to be really really super uh, fine like you need a special screwdriver set you can't use normal normal bits uh, yeah they are probably they, they won't fit here so and uh, then you can remove the back plate as far as I have seen I haven't done this but um, yeah it's it's too much anyway for me usually what I do is hard drive and memory upgrade that's about it and you can really do this um, by just removing the keyboard yeah here usually on the side you will find the registration I mean the serial number of the Windows XP, X, uh, XP usually you should be able to use that to set up maybe Windows 10 I don't know hopefully that will work I think a couple of years ago it was still working I don't know I can't promise uh, if it's still working but uh, I hope it yeah I mean usually it should be able you should be able to do that at least after um, yeah contacting Microsoft support and telling you you had to replace the hard drive shouldn't be a problem uh, with that so uh, yeah, that's it for now. I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about the things. And if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.